the group of 20 nations have now decided to triple renewable energy capacity. In renewable energies, more attractive than previously. And renewable energy, it's set to break all records. This the energy industry has been crying for a renewable source that is not intermittent, unreliable, or dependent on weather conditions. Solar and wind power are great, but they cannot provide a steady and constant supply of electricity. Wind turbines are useless if the wind isn't blowing when you need electricity. The same goes for solar. If it's cloudy or too dark, then the solar panels don't work either. But what if there was an energy source that never stops moving, works 24-7, and covers 70% of the Earth, our oceans? Scientists have just found a new way to harness the force of our waves to provide predictable and consistent clean energy. And join us as we take a look at how tidal wave turbines will change the energy industry forever in 2024. Tides have one excellent quality, and that's they're always incredibly predictable. Humans have been able to predict tides for over 2,000 years using various methods and theories. The ancient Greeks and Romans observed the tides and the relationship to the phases of the moon but they did not have a clear explanation of how they were caused. Some of them thought that the tides were due to the breathing of the earth or the movement of water in and out of underground caverns. Notably, philosophers like Pythias and Seleucus of Cilicia made significant contributions to the understanding of tides. Pythias, around 325 BCE, was among the first to suggest a connection between the moon and tides, although his ideas were met with skepticism at the time. In the 17th century, Isaac Newton applied his theory of gravitation to explain the effects of the moon and the sun on the Earth's tidal waters. He also developed the equilibrium theory of tides, which assumes that the oceans are uniform and respond instantly to the tide-generating forces. In the 18th and 19th centuries, Pierre-Simon Laplace, William Thompson, George Darwin, and others improved on Newton's theory by taking into account the shape and depth of the oceans, the rotation of the Earth, and the friction between water and land. They introduced the concept of the harmonic analysis, which decompresses any periodic motion into a sum of simple harmonic motions with different frequencies and amplitudes. Then in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, tide predicting machines were invented to perform the complex calculations of harmonic analysis. These were mechanical analog computers that used gears, pulleys, chains, and dials to simulate the motions of the moon, sun, and earth to add up their effects on the tides at a given location. The first tide predicting machine was designed by Thompson and built by Alexander Leger in 1872 to 1873. It had 10 components, each representing a different tidal constituent. Later, machines had more components and could predict tides for longer periods and more locations. In the mid-20th century, tide predicting machines were replaced by digital electronic computers that could perform faster and more accurate calculations. These computers use numerical methods to solve the equations of fluid dynamics that govern the motion of tidal waters. They also incorporated more data from observations and measurements of tides from around the world. And today, computers can produce high-resolution models and forecasts of tides for any location and time. According to experts, the potential of tidal energy is enormous. They estimate that tidal energy alone could power every house in the United States two times over. However, despite this huge potential, tidal energy is still underdeveloped and underutilized. Currently, tidal energy projects worldwide only power about a half million homes. But this situation is about to change. Thanks to new innovations and initiatives in Europe, Asia, and Canada, tidal energy is gaining momentum and popularity. Some of the leading projects in tidal power technology are Fastblade and Kotai. Fastblade is a project backed by the European Union's Horizon 2020 Fund. It aims to improve the durability and performance of tidal turbine blades. Tidal turbine blades are exposed to harsh underwater conditions, such as corrosion, erosion, fatigue, and impact. These factors can reduce their lifespan and efficiency. To test how well the blades can withstand these forces, Fastblade uses a unique facility that simulates 20 years of underwater forces within three months. This way, Fastblade can identify and eliminate any weaknesses or defects in the blades before they're deployed in the ocean. Cotide is another project that focuses on advancing tidal power technology. It's a multi-university endeavor that involves researchers from China, UK, France, and Ireland. Cotide aims to develop state-of-the-art tidal stream turbine systems that can generate over 6 gigawatts of power. Tidal stream turbines are similar to wind turbines but they're submerged in water and capture the kinetic energy of the tidal currents. 
Cotide plans to design and optimize various aspects of the turbine systems, such as the rotor, the generator, the control system, and the grid connection. There's also a company called Weptos, and it uses a V-shaped structure to absorb the wave energy through a line of rotors. These rotors capture the energy from the waves and transfer it to a central axle connecting to a generator. This design ensures a steady generation of energy as long as the waves are active, and it can work with different types of generators. The shape of the rotors is inspired by the Salter's duct geometry, known for its efficient energy conversion, which was developed back in 1974. However, Weptos has made modifications to the design, making it lighter without sacrificing efficiency. What makes Weptos unique is that it captures energy from waves in both directions of rotor movement. Since the rotors are relatively short and aligned at an angle to the wave direction, they keep the central axle rotating consistently, similar to how wind turbines work. When a wave hits one of the rotors, it causes the central axle to spin. As the wave passes, the rotor swings back to its starting position while still turning the axle. Importantly, this system is highly effective and doesn't require additional steering mechanisms to work efficiently. So, what are the benefits of tidal energy? Tidal energy offers several distinct advantages over other renewable energy sources. Unlike wind and power, which are subject to weather fluctuations, tidal energy is predictable and consistent. The tides ebb and flow with clockwork regularity, providing a steady, reliable source of power. Furthermore, since water is approximately 800 times denser than air, tidal energy is significantly more potent than wind energy. A small area of tidal flow can generate substantial amounts of electricity. The environmental impact of tidal energy is also minimal. Tidal powered plants have a small physical footprint and produce no greenhouse gas emission. Also, the underwater turbines used in tidal power generations are typically silent and unobtrusive, minimizing disruption to marine life. Tidal energy also benefits the environment and society. One of the benefits is that it can provide significant economic advantages for coastal community. The installation and maintenance of tidal turbines create jobs for local workers, while the generation of renewable energy can help to reduce electricity costs for consumer. Furthermore, tidal energy projects can attract investment and tourism, contributing to local economic development. For example, in Scotland, a tidal energy project called Mayjet has been operating since 2016. It's the world's largest tidal stream project. With a capacity of 398 megawatt, it has created over 100 jobs and generated over $50 million in revenue for the local economy. It has attracted visitors from around the world who want to see the innovative technology and learn about its benefit. Another example is in Nova Scotia, Canada, where a tidal energy project called FORCE, Fundy Ocean Research Center for Energy, has been testing various tidal turbine technologies since 2009. It is located in the Bay of Fundy, which has the world's highest tides. It has created over 200 jobs and generated over $70 million in economic activity for the province. It has also become a hub for researcher and education on marine renewable energy. Tidal turbine energy generation holds a lot of promise, but it's still in its infancy in terms of development. This is because the technology is quite complex and expensive and there are considerable challenges related to installing and keeping turbines operational in harsh marine environments. However, the good news is that technology is advancing and the costs are coming down, making tidal energy a more realistic option. Governments and private companies worldwide are investing in tidal energy projects. They see the potential of this technology to play a significant role in creating a sustainable energy future. As we navigate the challenges of the 21st century, tidal energy offers a beacon of hope and a path toward a cleaner, greener, and more sustainable world. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.